Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. We are snarking on Alicia. Hello? Yeah, it's about you today. People were like, Josh, you gotta cover this shit because she's like totes going to this buying too much shit, like Velveeta or something. It's like, well, of course. I'll have a look at it. You're cool with it? Okay, good. Just checking. Just checking in on your shit. Eyeliner and stuff. So, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. I don't like her very much. Anyway, so, uh, you know, we're just going to continue to snark on Alicia because it's uh, she's a gold mine of snark and it's fun. Sometimes you got to have some fun. Also, we're going to need to bring attention to how much coffee this woman drinks. Okay, it's getting a little bit crazy. Drink some damned water. All right, let's go. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for joining me in the Dad Challenge Podcast. You can like, subscribe, head over to Patreon, or become a member here on YouTube to help support this channel. You can go to my merch store, which you, if you're on a computer, you can see it below, a little Teespring store. You can buy a bunch of merch. I'm definitely going to be making some Dockety Dozen merch. My cookbook is in the works right now. I'm trying to have that ready for November, so you can order it for Christmas. I'm pumped. But before we get into the haul, I've been on the Reddit thread, obviously. That's where I go sometimes to just hear what people are saying, how people are feeling about the Dockety Dozen, what's going on. Anybody know something new? They're pulling up old videos from 10 years ago when she was selling MLM shit. This woman has been trying to be on YouTube. And I, this is something that I'm not afraid to admit that I'm wrong about. I just thought that she was new. She's been trying this to see what would stick for over 10 years. And what stuck? The exploitation of children. That's what stuck. Damn, right? But she also did this video. Just like, should you have? I don't know. But let's watch it together. <laughs> Your videos make my day, and your comment made my day. So what I'm gonna do is hop into the old shower with fully clothed and look like a serial killer. It puts the lotion on the skin and do this. Oh my God, stop! There's no way, no way. She's not completely either just slaughtered drunk on White Claws, or she's having a manic episode. Some There's no way a person of the right mind would ever do that. Ever. And I, what are the comments on this? I can't wait to see comments on this. Someone writes, this is a new level of unhinged. I agree with you. No right person. And like, I make fun of people for doing stuff like that. Is that going to be part of like my spaghetti leg dancing thing? Like, should I put Alicia next to her in the spaghetti legs? Let's do that. I thought the video froze, but the audio was fine. <laughs> she's like waiting for her time to like hit the, the hit the. She's waiting for the breakdown of the song. <laughs> like her kids are gonna have to see this later, right? You know that, right? Alicia, you know that your kids are gonna grow up someday and be like, "Oh my God, mom!" I mean, who who does that? That's all I'm saying. So just wanted to point that out. That jam of a thing. Of all the videos Lush put out, I bet you that one. She's like, mm, "Should I have?" Whoops. Anyway, let's get to this freaking gong show. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia. <laughs> With the doctor, he doesn't. Buckle up, bitch. It's gonna get some merch. I don't... This helmet's way too tight, and I don't even know where I got it. Ew! Holy... I have no idea where we got that helmet. I just found it in my closet. I've... We don't have motorcycles or anything like that, so... Anyway, yeah, we're gonna keep doing those. And today I'm doing Ow. a wholesale haul for my family of 14. This is mm -hmm. one of my monthly wholesale hauls. I'm coming to BJ's today to stock up. One of your monthly, one, one. Um, the waters and the Gatorades and the Velveeta staple in our house. Um, I've never seen her make Velveeta. I don't watch her videos, but does she make it all the time? Yeah, stuff like that. Bite first! Comic Sam. 
<laughs> Stop looking at yourself. It's not working. Yeah. So, let's go Ew. Go do some wholesale. Well, it's just me today. I know I know. It's only me. I'm only bringing one of the, a couple of the teens to no. have but they're in school. And plus two of them have broken fingers. Anyways, from football injuries. So two it wouldn't really be much help. So it's just me. I guess I'm going to get my workout today. But first, coffee. <laughs> yeah. Lace with something. Looks like she backed into that van behind her. Also, Alusha, gross. If you're going to park in a parking spot, don't let your ass hang over the line. That's rude. And it literally looks like you smoked that van. I'm here to get one of these big... Terrible. You're gross for doing that. Perfect. I hate when people do that. Ooh, I hate it. What are they called? What's BJ's? I know it. Yeah, but I mean the store. These things. It's just called a flat. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? I film the whole thing. Is this just... I've never heard BJ's. It's gotta be like Costco, Sam's Club is the same damn thing? What? You have to pay for membership? What? What is it? It looks like Costco. We're almost out of toothpaste. Gotta get this. I'll get famotidine while I'm here. What is famotidine? Oh, acid reducer. Okay. Hey, Alicia, I just, I don't know, maybe you should take your kids to the doctor. If everybody's having that much acid reflux, it's time to take them to see a doctor. Like, acid reflux isn't, like, you sh should go to see a doctor. Because it can ruin your teeth, everything else. Can't sleep. Go see a doctor. And you know what your doctor's going to say? Well, let, what are you feeding your children? Let me just write it down here. Alicia's like, well, buckle up, bitch, because I'm going to tell you what I feed my children. Then she finishes with the spaghetti table thing. And the doctor's like, I'm going to go ahead and call the FBI. Um, you wonder why your kids have this acid in their stomachs it's because you feed them bullshit all day that's all you feed them so okay i thought it was a box of light bulbs actually two 200 tablets how <laughs> guys this is a big this is a red flag if children are having that much acid reflux you've got to get it looked at let's shake it okay you know what's so weird is that she holds it up while she's like looking at I'm gonna get the kids toothpaste. Thanks for getting the shitty skirt you can find, appreciate it. You were Nope, I don't see any. Why did you cut to see she does cut some things, but she cut to the shit that she couldn't find. I'll get some toilet paper while I'm here. Could you imagine how much toilet paper this family goes through? Like military grade. Could you imagine? Here's a little tip, Alicia. Move to a bigger house because clearly you don't have enough space for your children. Cool. With more bathrooms. But get bidets. They're cheap. Like 30 bucks on Amazon. Maybe even cheaper in the US. Spray your ass with some water. It saves on toilet paper and your ass is cleaner. Who doesn't like a clean ass? Right? Bought the cheap kind last time and deeply regretted that. And paper towels. How much more waste can you get? Is this the... Yeah. Like Holy shit. That's bigger than Alicia. She's getting two. She's getting two of those. Oh my god. Grab some paper bowls while I'm here. We're almost out. 150 bowls. 150, excuse me. 150 bowls. Why are you getting cups? You buy all bottled water, all bottled Gatorade. What are you using the cups for? What's the cups for? You can't, like, at minimum, don't get plastic cups, right? You can just wash cups, right? How about just cups that you just draw a line and say, hey, guys, I, we're going to get paper plates, paper bowls, we can burn them, whatever, right? But we're not getting plastic cups that we're going to throw away. We're going to use cups because we can at least wash cups, right? Can we just say that? Stack up on water. 
right past the cheap water, get to the expensive shit. Oh my god. Is that, are those one liter ones? Those are the big beefy ones. Those aren't the little ones. Or are they little ones? I can't tell now. How many water bottles? You're lying. The kids have been asking for more of these sports top pollen springs, so we'll get those for them. What a waste. Just to set the camera there. Oh, of course she has a tiny backpack. Of course. All these people are tiny backpacks. What? So then what? Just buy those ones then. I don't understand. They want the ones with those tops on. Get the ones with the tops. Don't get all of it. Just get one kind. There's no way that they go through. These kids don't even drink water. Okay? She gets like 800 gallons of other shit. I'll get Alex some more of his sparkling ice drinks that he likes. Ew. Josh's Fiji water. It's all the same. Oh my god. That's probably $16 a box. What a waste. You're so wasteful. Oh, here's the white glare. It is my birthday Sunday. Remember when I said in the last video that alcoholics and drug addicts and people who are addicts in general will use any excuse. Oh, this fan's been on the whole time. Will use any excuse, no matter what, how, how small, how big, to be like to justify their behavior, right? Their 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 addiction. Well, it's my birthday, so I might as well drink sixteen white claws. You drink sixteen white claws if it's not your birthday. You drink it if it's a Wednesday. So shut your mouth. I'm gonna get some white claw. Oh, I'm sure you are. Twenty-eight dollars for twenty-four cans. Wow. Actually, no. Why? Because I don't like that flavor, and I don't like that flavor. So th From what I've been told, these things taste like shit anyway, all of them, so whatever. Those will go to waste. I'm not going to get that here. So I have to get my cases of white claw elsewhere. Get some when something hits the fan for this family, like, and I mean something, like legally something, right? And they're going to force to go to court for something or like a parent wants their child back or whatever the case may be because they want to use their kid and exploit them. All of the times that you see Alicia drunk or drinking on camera with around the kids who have FASD is going to be very bad for her. That's all I'm saying. So good. Keep documenting it. That's insanity. Insanity. If there's an apocalypse, okay, first person's house I'm going to steal shit from is a little <laughs> Then I'm heading down to Jordan Page's house. I'm going to steal all the shit. Get wrecked. Okay, yeah. That's, uh, I'm going to get these mini ones, too. Yeah, why not? Those are mini? Those are not mini. Those are mini? One, two, three, four, five... Okay. Times 48? Is that 24? I don't know. I gotta turn around and go get the Velveeta. Okay. You're nasty. Why? $17.99 a box. Eight boxes inside. I'm gonna get the boxes, and they like these cups that they can make in the microwave. How much Velveeta you feed your chicken? Okay, this is why I think that when she cooks something, they don't eat it. They she makes that for the video, and then the shit the kids go eat Velveeta. That's what happens. Is Velveeta good? I think we have Velveeta in Canada. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna get some tonight. Wait, that's a lie. No, I'm not. Oh my god. Twenty-four. Wait. Thirty-two boxes of Velveeta and then 
36, 40, 48, 50 whatever, 50 odd, almost 60 b singles. Holy shit, how much Velveeta do you eat? What's going on here? Your kids are gonna die. Ali, stop feeding them this shit. Like, that's like a once in a blue moon type of thing. That's, you clearly don't once in a blue moon that. What is going on? Leave this up front and go get another cart. That's too much Velveeta, man. It's too much Velveeta. That's too much Velveeta. That's too much fucking Velveeta. Your kids are never gonna poop again. That's too much fucking Velveeta. Please consider your toilets. Yeah. That's too much Velveeta, man. I think I made it sure that's too much Velveeta. That's what we're doing. Part two. Get some snacky snacks. Yeah, I'm sure you have zero snacks here. Oh my god, the thumb. There it is. In all its glory. <laughs> Toe thumb. Club thumb. Whatever they're going to call it. I'm calling it the lush thumb. Josh, you make fun of her thumb. She can't help it. Well, get the surgery then. I'm not really for like blowing up your face and everything else, but if, if you love it, you love it. I'm just saying it's just my personal preference. But the one thing I would suggest you get is thumb surgery. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like it belongs in Lord of the Rings, like one of the bad guys. Okay. You're bad at this. You're bad. Couldn't cut this, eh? Couldn't cut it, eh? She just, she just you knows that pisses me off. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Someone should, I will pay somebody, okay? To watch every haul video she's ever put on the internet. And, and calculate every calorie that she buys. And sugar intake. And do a spreadsheet of what she's bought her family in like a year. Okay, I know it's a lot of work, okay? And then we'll look, lay it out. This is what she's this is what she's shown that she's bought, okay? And I mean, it will be mind-blowing to you how many calories her kids eat and sugar and salt and everything else. They don't get anything healthy, none of them. They don't eat an apple, they don't eat bananas, they don't eat that shit. There's four of those, just what she needed. Cosmic brownie, big pack. Big pack. Yes. Yeah, yeah of course, of course you need that. Oh, those, those are good. I think we have those at the dollar store. Dollarama. Oh my god. He's such a troll. She's trolling. She's got to be. Okay, I bought these for my kids. I found them. They don't like them. So they just sit in their cupboard. My kids are very, very particular with their snacks. So, and they won't eat those. See, she's got no plan. She's just doing this shit. More parents booty. Okay. What the hell is pirate's booty? These popcorners are so good. Deshaun and Nevaeh like them too. Oh. That's weird. That's very strange. <laughs> These are delicious, and Deshaun and uh, Nevaeh, they like them too. Okay. Okay. And James asked me to get some cheese it snapped. These are so, so good. <laughs> They're all out of Pringles. Look how cute these Halloween ones are. We are all out of our Lay's classic potato chips. Oh my god. Can you just get a couple of big bags? And just put them in, into like Tupperware containers or something? I've gotten another pallet out of cart. Get more. Even the companies that make this shit, they're like, 
we don't want to be associated with this. This is not a suggested serving of anything that we put on our backs. Like, do we don't, she doesn't go here. These packs, the kids love all four of the things that come in these. My God. Oh my God. That's a lot of chips. Time to check out. Oh, that's all for today? Okay. Two of those, yep. Each case of Gatorade is eighteen seventy nine. Holy shit. Now I remember why I usually bring the teens for this one because that was just such a workout pulling this and pushing this. Why don't you pull your shit up to the front door? Dumbass. And now I gotta load it all in. Okay. Again, why don't you just get a trailer? <laughs> Seriously. Maybe a ponytail or something. Or that's fine too. I hope you're recognized. I got recognized yesterday at Walmart when I was, or two days ago for a when I was shopping for my cat. Uh, no, it was yesterday. So Thanksgiving dinner and this little girl and her bigger sister came up and said we love your videos and I was like I don't think you're old enough to watch my videos and then their mom came over we love your videos especially the Doherty Dozen ones we completely agree on that and then they're just like we love you and they just took off I was like I don't yeah I shouldn't be watching it but if you were watching today ladies thank you but maybe wait a couple years I'm just saying to say that to say that she probably gets recognized and videos like mine probably pop up on their F and their front pages too. So when they watch a Doherty Dozen video, my video pops up too. So I think even the lovers of Doherty Dozen come and watch my videos for fun. And some of them admit it. I bet you their family watches my videos. Hey, Doherty Dozen family. How are you? I hope your paper plates blow into oblivion. In the space. We ever given thought to how we could manage our waste later? Elon Musk might be thinking about this. Could we not just send our shit into space eventually? Have some kind of like big pipe that goes up there and just put all the garbage and just like go into space? I mean, it's infinite, right? It's not going to do any damage out there, I don't think. Have you given that thought? I don't know. I was thinking about it. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. You're not gonna cut it at all, eh? You're just throwing that shit in there like it doesn't even, like it's gonna not break. It's probably 250 pounds worth of water and juice and shit that she's throwing in there. 250 pounds. And she will not fast forward. Sounds like me when I grocery shop. <laughs> Damn, woman! Why would you put it in handle first? Okay? Now they have to go in and grab it the wrong way, dumbass. Oh my god, what is taking so long? Loaded in. Again, they. I would never suggest this, but just buy a truck that's just for hauling your shit. Thanks. Alex is at the orthodontist right now, so. What's you gotta stop with makeup. You gotta stop. Can can some other big YouTuber reach out and be like, Alicia, can I help you, please? For love of God. Please. It's 12.30. He's done at 1. Who are you talking about? I'm going to go home and unload some of this because, you know, I need to make room for him to sit in the van. <laughs> okay. 
they were hired they were trying to hire a nanny right they were looking for somebody who wants to be a nanny that's right i, I remember that no. how can you not find somebody just they can afford it you can afford probably more than most people can afford so why wouldn't they just hire somebody then i did the wholesale haul i can make my grocery list for the week that has nothing to do with her groceries by the way better okay oh my god and now it's 12 30 and i have the air conditioner on even need to work out good one oh i'll show you the garage i still need to do like an official garage tour now that it's oh out. i can't wait but the pantry shelves are all along okay i'm not listening to this bullshit is this she gonna talk about the whole time oh i have to text me when he's done I usually just eat like a big I'm not a huge breakfast fan You don't eat anything You drink coffee and take Adderall Which probably kills your appetite for the entire day Maybe you'll eat something small But there's no way that this woman eats So I usually just eat a big lunch And I'm sure he will ask for Panera again But you make their lunch That's another thing I saw on Reddit For He always has like big ass Panera sandwiches Half of the shit that she makes for her children's lunches, guys, they don't eat them. They're either going to cafeteria at school, going to restaurants, not the littles, but the bigger ones. And she just, the thing that really gets a lot of people's goats about Dockery Dozen is the waste. Like, you can put everything else aside, but there's the absolute amount of just god-awful waste. In this time where people are struggling to even afford groceries is so tone deaf. Alicia, you'd probably get more people on your side if you just said, we're going to start going frugal a little bit because, man, we're taking shit from people that they, they, she cleans out cupboards and shelves at the grocery stores and she makes food that her kids don't even eat and she throws it in the garbage. There was somebody came in my comment section and was like, oh my God, Josh, they ate the spaghetti, did they? Because at the end of the video, we saw that she didn't eat any of this. No one ate the spaghetti. Kids maybe had two or three bites of it. They threw out 80, 60 pounds of food at the end of the night. 60 pounds of just spaghetti. Okay, it's the waste that gets a lot of people. That's so gross. It's just unbelievable how much waste she has. And she just laughs about it. And proves it every time that her kids don't actually eat the shit that she makes. Because I've never seen her make Velveeta, right? She makes all these meals that taste like garbage, and then the kids eat Velveeta. All right, let's get home. Let's unload. Reorganize. Here is the receipt. Oh, I had a lot of people ask me what this means when it says deposit. It means you can take back the bottle for a deposit. Um, and here in New York, you can return all of like the soda cans the bottled waters you return all of those for recycling and you get five cents back so you pay the deposit that's basically saying like guaranteed I'll guaranteed they throw their shits and they're eating the garbage cycle this and then you get your money your five cents back when you but she doesn't to the store empty all right let's unload Look at all these the bottle on the ground. And they, they, they don't recycle shit. I got three cases of water I'm taking out. I gotta go pick up Alex. You yeah. suck at this. Didn't Nevaeh say she would help no, you? No, she doesn't know how. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll help you. Okay, yeah, I'll help you. Let me get this groceries, these groceries put away because your party's not till six. So I know. We got lots of time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, get out of the garage and feel me. I waited until the kids got home so they can help me unload and now I'm everything away what is pirate's booty oh my god holy shit the velveta oh my god velveta i gotta try this stuff i need uncrustables i need velveta i need pirate's booty i haven't had any of that uh some other stuff do you have your water bottle? Yeah. Did she just save your water bottle and you bought 400 cases of water? Okay. It make it make sense. Okay, we'll be at your race. Good luck. Oh my oh. god. Okay.
again, we all laugh at her, but if there's an apocalypse, well, they're not going to survive anyway because they're, they're dumb, but they're going to get more food than everybody else, but just going to get robbed. Oh my God. Oh, it's the kids' bus. Oh, let me get the camera so I can show you guys the bus number. Which one's this? Is this? Mom? Yeah. Did you hear about the field trip? Uh, yeah. Am I going? Yeah. Okay. She didn't hear about no damn field trip. She's lying. I can't volunteer because it's Deshaun's birthday. What field trip? They're going to the public market. Oh, yeah. And I promised Deshaun that I would bring him a fancy lunch on his birthday, so. Oh, um, what, what, what? So you can, okay, yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? If she promised Deshaun a lunch, she promised Deshaun a lunch. Does it have to be delivered by her? Can someone else deliver the fancy lunch, maybe? I don't know. The kid wants his mom to go in the thing. She's not going to go because she's going to bring a lunch? Can you not just pack him a fancy lunch for school? I don't get it. That's so weird. You also like how glow sticks. Oh, yeah, garage looks totally great. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Hi. What? It looks worse. Yeah. Your garage looks like yeah. shit. Well, the kids get you close. Let's just shut your lock. I did. Yeah. So when we moved these shelves over here, the food all kind of got, you know, displaced a little bit. So Why don't you take it off before you move the shelves? Okay, whatever, whatever. Working to reorder. Look how much mustard and ketchup they have. Like, again, she she doesn't talk about being a prepper. She doesn't talk about being, but she stocks up. Like she, just st she just wants to have everything. But they don't, they rarely eat it all. So most of it is just for the, it's for the halls. That's what she's doing it for. It's not. Hmm. But I guess I will show that when I do the official. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Um, because my kids are, yeah. Wanting me inside. So, this will get done later. Okay. Thank you for coming shopping I hate you. with me today for my whole You're a beautiful, family. friendly, you and smelly. Love and belong you in you. the desert. See you next time. And in prison. Jeez. Oh, well. Well, it is what it is. Thanks, Lush. Appreciate it. No, we don't. Just kidding. Anyway, everybody, thanks for coming and joining me here in the snark fest that is the Dr. D Dozen channel. They are the worst. Well, Josh and Alush are. Kids are awesome, probably. Um, someday they'll wake up and learn, and we're going to be here for it, right? We're going to be here to say... What the kind of person to say a toad or so? But you know what? A toad or so. A fucking a toad or so. Take a deep breath, everybody. Mmm, thanks for joining me. You're amazing. And valuable, and you're mattering to things and stuff. Just kidding. You are actually incredible. And people need you here. And you look super cool in that flowy sweater. Because it is now sweater weather. And I love it. And your hair is... Booming? Or something? Okay, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. And I will actually see you tomorrow.